Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Um, I decided I don't want to sleep, and I'm going to keep playing, because I really enjoy this game. Now then, um, as you might recall, in the last episode... What the hell was that? Was that a crab? Okay, anyway, in the last episode, Valu told us to use the Wind Guides... Damn it, I can't remember to quote him exactly. But, he wants us to come back here, basically, and check out this wind shrine. So, we're gonna do exactly that. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay. Like up, left, right? Yes, like up, left, right. I will unplug my headset. Up, left, right. That's how I remember it. Kind of sing it along with it. That's how I remembered it as a kid, and it just stuck with me. Ooh, what did that accomplish? What's up, Frog Man? Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or a very bad thing. If you want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken. Now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request to you. <laughs> well, that was awkward. Sorry about your thing, dude. That sucks for you. Okay, so we're gonna play that exact same song. One, two, three. I, t I like to sing it along as I'm going. Like, like not sing, sing you know what I mean. And just, okay, anyways, and now we get to choose exactly which direction the wind will blow in. We need to be having a south wind for our next destination. So, now that we got that all set up, let's go back to the King of Red Lions, inform him of our new ability. That was indeed a crap, okay. Look at him, he, he's even yawning. Everybody's yawning. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. That would mean... There is no time to lose. We must depart at once for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Alright. Actually? No. We have things to do. We have things to do. And I... Forgot about one. Hey man, what's up? Listen man, you're not one of the native islanders, are you? No. Do you see a beak in my face? You don't. How dare you. I take offense. Alright. There's a few... Maybe a few? Yeah, there's a few things we can check out while we're here that I figure I should probably do. Instead of springing them on on you. Later. Because I don't like doing that. Alright. Now we get to hear the scuffing of people's feet. That's just wonderful. Alrighty. So, first things first. What we're going to do... I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna talk to this guy right here. Hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventure guy, sailing from island to island. Action, excitement, right? Oh, with all the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she's wanted one of those things for the longest time. Actually, I kinda promised that I'd send one to her. Yeah, we do have a golden feather. We have two. Take this. Hey, that's what my girlfriend wants a golden feather! So how many of those do you have? Yeah, well, when you get 20 of those, would you let me have them? No, she only wanted one, but if I give my girl 20 of them, I'll be loving life. Well then, I'd like to get out and gather them on my own, but, well, you know, I've got guard duty and all. Yeah, man. What What the hell kind of weapon is that? That's not gonna stop anybody. You gonna beat him with a blunt stick? Alright, whatever. So we need to keep an eye out for 20 of those things. Now, there's our other guy to talk to. Well now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? 
Yes, yes I am. Ooh, excellent, that's good. But first, see if I can use you or not. I need to give you a little test, just a small. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use the control stick to select the shelf and press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Before time runs out, we have to sort at least ten letters. Alright. I'm not necessarily in a very comfortable position to be doing this, but whatever. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Go. Damn, 24! Woo! 24 letters, great! Good, terrific! You pass! Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of 12 rupees, am I right? I'm back anytime, I mean it, anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you learn. Not a big deal, for both of us. Now, I believe, if you can do it again... You already understand what you... Yes. If you can sort 20 more letters, you'll... Yeah, he'll give you a better deal. But you have to do it twice. This has been a bad setup already. Keeps having me go the farthest path. Top left to bottom left. Right. Okay, actually I got no problem with that. Come on. That's 20. We keep going. Oh yeah! Beautiful! 26! 26 letters. Splendid. Super. Your salary is one rupee per letter, so I pay you 26 rupees, and we're maxed out. Come on, the better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. Oh, really? Didn't know. Okay, I think that's actually all we can do in here right now. Um. Well, there's one more thing I'll give a try. Also, if you guys feel what's the word? Inspired. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't mind seeing somebody beat that score, 26. I don't know if that's the best I've ever gotten, but it's the best I can prove I've gotten. So if you can beat that, I will... I will give you a reward of some sort. I'm not sure what, but it definitely won't be in sexual favors, so don't get that idea. Anyways. We're going to grab this... We're gonna climb, and then we're gonna go up... God, speak! Speak, boy! We're gonna grab this, and then we're gonna run through the cave, and we're gonna throw it. Shit, that didn't work already. Let's try that again. Fuck, why can't I just do that normally? Come on. Give me another go. That took too long. No, 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 not doing it. Okay, well, I did it once, as a, a long time ago. It's possible to get a bomb through there, and you can blow up this rock early. The rock is meant to be blown up later on in the game, but there was a way to do it. Uh, okay. Well, in any case, it's time for us to sail south. Now we actually have all three items equipped on the top. I refused to do that before because they were stupid items. They were stupid. They were too dumb to understand what they were used for. Alright, so we're going to have a long time sailing. How long have I been recording? Not long. Oh, I hold it right there, small fry. A merfish? I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes me. It makes you look like you had to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm going to teach you what I know about the silence. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Ah. Uh. Talking fish, my favorite. Dragon Roost Island. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see a small fry unless you manage to sprout wings and fly. That is. 
because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you, since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. It's a good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water surface. Trust me, this is good advice, small fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search things out at sea. I can't emphasize that enough, small fry. You need a, a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. I don't say I never did anything for you, Fry. Well, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. The hell was that all about? Whatever. We don't care. Now, he said to spread bait out, so we're gonna get our bait ready in case we run across any. I probably won't be doing that on screen very much. I'll make an exception this time just because, well, this is our first time sailing to an important island. And, you know, that would make sense. So, this is going to be a long trip, guys. Oh, wait, maybe we can pass some time. Wait, what's the point? I'm full on money. God damn it. Okay, well, at this point during this Let's Play, Eve should have should have ended, and I'm just I'm curious. I won't be seeing the comments just now, but I really want to know how everybody felt about the way that game ended. It's got multiple endings, but to be honest with you, I'm I think overall I'm satisfied with the ending I got. I don't know. I'm just curious as to what everybody else has got to say. So, maybe not leave them in this video, but hopefully you guys have left comments about it in the, uh, in the finale for Eve. Because that was... It certainly was unique. Give it that. Why, oh, small fry? Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. Get used to seeing this! Ugh. Fire Mountain. Oh, that's really creative, get it? Because the mountain behind us is on fire. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. Thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you want to go from find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true. But wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. You can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off! I like your style, friend. Now I'm hungry. I'll eat some of this bait. Well, this looks decidedly dangerous. It would be nice to take him up on his offer for whatever that power he was talking about, but honestly, we just don't have the time. And, well, you know, we're kind of pressed for time to save the world here. Saving the world! Oh, I should show the sea, the, the sea chart. Pretty much, you've already seen this part. This is, well, the game. If you hit the A button, you can zoom in once, and then twice. Now, the other more important option, that distracted me. Hit the Y button, and you hit R, and you can open up the sea charts, treasure charts, I should say, that you might have found. Well, shit. You can see that the this chart that I found right here actually is a directly on Dragon Roost Island that we just left. Now, it's I'm not going to turn around and go get it because we're maxed out on money, and a lot of the time, treasure charts will give you 200 rupees. But, on occasion, there's certain treasure charts that will give you new treasure charts of a specific variety or heart pieces. Now, I'll go back for that one at a different time just because I'm maxed out on money and if it is a silver rupee, I don't want to waste it. I really don't want to waste it. Oh, the rain freaked me out. You can see we have a little time time icon in the bottom left of the screen next to the compass. Kind of lets you know what's going on. I like having that. You can also just look and see that the sun's setting. Oh shit, I missed those barrels again. I don't care. Cyclones. Uh-oh. Wow, this water is getting really red. Because the sunset, I know, but... 
Everything happening at once like this makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, maybe a little bit more than a little bit nervous. Redundant word choice! What's that? A fish! What's that next to the fish on the left? People! Ah! I am conflicted! I'll get the fish. Get the fish first. What am I at? Come on. I'm gonna start skipping through the dialogue, because I've read it twice now. So you don't need to read that any or hear that anymore. I will read whatever his hint is, but... I don't want to sit through the other crap every time. Kill my throat. Eastern Triangle Island. Okay. Tell me, Small Fry, have you ever caught a berry before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think that you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, Fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable-looking submarine floating in the sea. Look there. That's all the info I've got to offer. Okay. So we, if we head south from here, we'll find a submarine and something to carry fairies in. That seems like a good deal to me. Whoops! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha ha ha! You won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. One is around on a fishless sea. I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. Maybe some other things I've never heard of. Okay. You know, with all those weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm just amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub. Tell you what. It's one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. I will just grab it. Well, there we go. We got another treasure turret, so we'll open that up right after we close this dialogue. And that'll reveal a new treasure spot. Yeah. Okay, he's just explaining. Yes, and then we use our grappling hook. The same. It'll pretty much give us the same contraption they've got there. Alright. Yeah, it'll pretty much give us the same contraption. There it is. Is that right next to us? No way. That... no. Hold on. That is! That's right in front of us. But... But shit. I'm gonna go get it just because it's right here. Alright, so this is going to be our crash course in how to do this. You gotta oh, that's the wrong direction. You gotta align yourself on top of the X. Normally, there'd be a giant shining ray of light telling you where it is, but if you get close, the light disappears, making it really hard to do if you don't line yourself up on the map. Keep taking a look a little bit more this way. Alright, we're good. Let's give it a try. Yeah, we got it. Fancy. Come on, don't be money! Don't be money! Oh, right in the heart! <laughs> well, isn't that pretty? Fuck! That sucked! Well, that's one last treasure chart to worry about in the future, I guess. What the hell? That's the sea music for your. Well, that's the on sea, you're under attack, probably about to die music, to be more specific. I have a feeling that we probably just had a close call with sharks. They're actually called Georgs. Fun fact, Georg used to be an actual boss in Majora's Mask. Now, there's a million of him out in the sea. It's a little bit weird how something like that happens, but... Whatever. I didn't get downgraded from a boss to a normal enemy, so... I won't complain. I don't know what island this is, but we're gonna look for the fish. Maybe that's the submarine right there. Fishy! Fishy! Where are you? Not really, fish. Where are you? Uh, wait! I heard it! Aha! This is the- This is the advantage of having stereo headphones. You can hear where he's coming from better. If he had mono, it would just make noise, but I could actually hear that he was kind of behind me. 
to my right. I know, I know the drill. Computer screen, stop that. I need to just change that, but I'm going off the same recording streak, so I just kind of forget to. You ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. Well, that was short. Okay, what was I doing? To the sub! Which is, yeah, in front of me. I'm arguing if... No, okay, it's already too late. I was arguing if I should change change the wind to get there faster, or if the time I spent changing the wind and then having to change it back would just defeat the purpose. Such a difficult life. Well, let's check out this... It is kind of a miserable looking submarine, isn't it? It's not even yellow! Hmm, bad guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, that was epic. We got rats running around in here. Wonderful. Oh, he dodged me. Dumbass. You're dead. Now for your little buddy over there. Oh, right. I should be grabbing their jo joy pendants while I can. Remember, lock on to them. Hit them with the grappling hook. You get a joy pendant. If you want to keep going, you can get other things out of them, too. Money and hearts, usually. This guy, he's got a lot of heart. Huh. <laughs> get it. <laughs> Whoa, that rat just made a jump for me. <laughs> Come on, get up. I'm not done with you. Oh, he just did a karate kick. Fuck you, rat. I like playing around with the camera angle, I'm sorry. Shit! Okay. Hold on. <sighs> Little bastard. Wow, that was embarrassing. Fuck! One of them took off with 20 bucks! Little fuckers! I'm embarrassed! A rat just stole 20 bucks off me! I told you guys! I told you that story was true, it just happened again. What do we got? Please be... A bottle! You got an empty bottle! Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things like fairies hostage. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Give me my 20 bucks, bitch. Good! Nope, okay. Okay. They just took another ten. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got laid out by rats. I got laid out by rats. Holy shit, listen to them. Whatever. I'm not even mad, bro. Alright, I am a little bit. <laughs> to the south! Oh, we've got another place to stop and check. Just to make sure. Trust me, this will save us time later on in life. This has got cannons! Fuck it. I don't like cannons. Jeez. Fuck those. Fuck them good. Actually, don't. You'll probably get, like, tetanus or something. HIV. No. Not HIV. I don't know! I'm tired. Alright. I think... We're close to our destination, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. Because I need to go to bed, or I'm not going to do a good job commentating anymore. <laughs> so, this was a Vitalix. Hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, and I'll see you on... What? Uh, uh, see, this is why I don't do outros.